This video will demonstrate configuring an Ethernet IP master in the WAGO PFC200 with Codasys 3.5. For this demonstration, we'll use a WAGO 750-8202 PFC200. And for our remote I.O., we'll be using a WAGO 750-352 uh, Modbus TCP and Ethernet IP coupler. Get this wired up and get started. The first thing we'll do is we'll navigate to the web base manager on the coupler uh, by typing in the IP ad address into a web browser. We'll navigate to port, and what we're going to do here is we're going to enable Ethernet IP and disable Modbus TCP. We click submit and uh, we're done there. Next we'll navigate to wago.us in order to download the EDS files for Ethernet IP. Uh, we'll go to wago.us, uh, type EDS into the search tab, uh, scroll down and uh, click on the EDS files for Ethernet IP link. Once we've downloaded these, we'll go to our downloads folder, extract them, and move them to the desktop. Uh, these files contain all the EDS files for um, all Wago Ethernet IP uh, enabled devices. In this case, we'll be using the 750-352 underscore one uh, file. Now that we've extracted those, we'll open up Codasys 3.5 and we'll get started on the programming. Here I'm going to create a new project. I'll just call this uh, PFC200 underscore EIP. And first things first, uh, we'll want to uh, make sure that we select the right target, uh, PFC200. We'll go now to the device uh, and we'll make sure that our device is connected. So if we double click on device and we enter the IP address into the field here, uh, it will tell us whether or not our coupler or our PLC is active. Next, we're going to import the EDS files that we just created. So uh, we'll navigate to the device repository, um, and we're going to import uh, the the 750-352 file from the EDS folder uh, that we extracted. Now we can go and we can add a device. Uh, we'll select Ethernet IP and create our Ethernet network. Uh, branching from that, we're going to select an Ethernet IP scanner. And then adding to the scanner the device, we'll have our WAGO 750-352 field bus coupler. Now the nice thing is most of the configuration settings are imported. Uh, so we'll just have to create the interface here. And if we select the uh, appropriate interface, now we can scroll down to the WAGO 750-352. Uh, one nice thing about this is uh, under the scanner we can uh, configure the auto reconnect. <clears throat> now going to the uh, 750-352 we set the IP address. We don't need to change any of these settings. Now one interesting thing about this is uh, it imports a, a preset amount of data so we'll need to change this um, to what we're using. We've only got one byte of data in, one byte of data out. Um, and it allocates one byte of data for configuration. So now, navigating to the I.O. mapping, we're just going to create a variable for the byte, output byte, call it out1. And going to our program, we will uh, just write a simple program, uh, incrementing the uh, out1 value up in order to demonstrate the outputs. So we download this to our controller. Uh, and once we run it, you can see there are nice diagnostics for the uh, Ethernet IP network. You can see they're going green, and we've got communication to our uh, Ethernet IP coupler. Thank you for watching.